Hello everyone and almost happy holidays! I am so excited for this time of year. I took advantage of the fact that my 3 year old asked for her Christmas tree to start putting the big one together. I just knew that my husband couldn't resist a request from our daughter, being Grinch or not. So finally I brought the tree from the attic. Once you put together your Christmas tree, there is no going back. You just have to continue to keep the magic happening and decor all of your home. This is the second year of having this tree and although it's not my dream tree, I love it. This was a purchase from Amazon. I'll be sure to link it down below. There is just no way you can beat this price. I had this tree on my cart for many weeks until it went on sale. It's a simple 6 feet tree and believe it or not, it's the biggest tree I ever owned. We've always had cats and the one we had when I was young was a little devil. So we only had a small tree that we usually put on our Christmas table. But things change and I decided to risk it last year and it went very well. I always dreamed of having a huge tree and all of the house decorated with Santa, snowman, mistletoes, reindeers and now I have a little one. I just wanted to create that magical feeling that Christmas is supposed to have. This is the season of enchantment, where the air is filled with sweet melodies of joy and the promise of magic. Decking the halls, adorning our homes with ornaments, weaving the threads of magic that makes Christmas truly special. Oh. I cannot wait to be cozy as my family gathers by the crackling fire, surrounded by the scent of fresh pine and symphony of laughter filling the room. It's like a moment frozen in time, where the outside world fades away and all that remains is the warmth of togetherness. I want to create almost like a holiday fairy tale home with a soft glow of twinkle lights. Hang mistletoe on as a promise of love, connection and a reminder that in the embrace of family, every instant is a treasure waiting to be unwrapped. Some of these ornaments are older than me. They were passed down through generations and carry not just the weight of decorations, but the weight of memories. Each bubble tells a story and as we hang them, we weave the tapestry of our family history, a living, breathing testament to the enduring spirit of Christmas. I have been waiting to buy a tree skirt, but they are very expensive, so I decided to use a cozy white blanket instead, which turned out much better than I expected. I think I like it better this way. I will be adding a red lantern, which I bought during summer, I think in a random store. This reindeer has been with me for more than 10 years now and since it's tired and old, I thought it might want to chill a little bit below the Christmas tree. And for a final touch, this golden wired present.
Between the living room and the kitchen, I have this gorgeous sideboard, an antique that I thrifted when I moved to this house. And this is one of my favorite places to decorate. I always like to begin with a wall piece, because it seems to set the tone for the entire scenario. I showed this beautiful wreath in my last vlog. I bought it this year on Zara Home. To take it up a notch, I will hang these beautiful vintage bells in the center, also an item from Zara Home. If you didn't watch that video yet, I will link it down below. The muted red from the ribbon and the flowers match perfectly. To accompany our village team, I will use this snowy canvas painting just to create a cohesive look. And now, as promised, let's begin our modest Christmas village. I am a fan of another channel. Her name is Crystal Terra, and she already did many versions of this. I always wanted to do my own version, and today is the day. This ceramic house is from Zara Home as well. I just love the details on it and the golden lines all around. This house, I've had it for many, many years. I don't even remember where I bought it. And now the tree fest begins. Now that the look is coming together, we can invite Mr. Snowman. And add some more trees. These ones are made of wood and they were bought in Primark. And we cannot have a snowman's village without some snow. A little bit of white cotton balls will create that look without being messy. For a final touch, some small pine cones. And here we have my first Christmas village. It turned out just the way I wanted. Now let's continue with the rest of the sideboard. Next to the canvas I will add this wooden embellished tree. And this candle holder that was actually from my wedding To give it a Christmassy look, I will add the wreath on the bottom of the candle. On the right side of the village, I will add a small Christmas tree and some champagne gold candlesticks. And we cannot miss the twinkle lights. I 
I was looking at all the decor and I just felt that something was missing. So I just popped this wooden red sign that says Santa stop here. Let me know in the comments if you think this matches with the rest of the scenario or if it should go. Between the sideboard and the couch I have this little table that I would like to add some minimal decorations. I will begin with a green velvet towel, add my orchid and some little Christmas embellishments. And we have reached the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share in your social media. It would be a huge help. I hope to see you on the next vlog where I will decorate my kitchen. Until then, stay warm and cozy everyone.